Now to our other breaking news at SeaWorld, where Tilikum, the killer whale that killed trainer Don Bradshaw, has died. Right now, Sky 6 is flying above SeaWorld Orlando, where many are mourning the whale's death. SeaWorld made an announcement just a couple of hours ago. But they did not give us a cause of death. News 6's Brittany Harris is live at SeaWorld right now for us. And Brittany, Tilikum had faced some serious health issues. That's right, Justin. Tillicum had been dealing, had been, had deteriorating health issues for quite some time now. And unfortunately, he passed away this morning. Um, SeaWorld believes he was about 36 years old. An official cause of death has not been determined just yet, but we're told vets were treating him for what they called a persistent and complicated bacterial lung infection. The suspected bacteria is a part of a group of bacteria often found in water and soil, both in wild habitat and zoological settings. Tilikum was one of SeaWorld's most well-known killer whales. He was linked to three people's deaths during his lifetime. The most recent was back in 2010 when he dragged his trainer, Don Brancho, under the water during a show. Uh, Tilikum was also profiled in a documentary called Blackfish, which highlighted the concerns with keeping killer whales in captivity. Now, SeaWorld's president and CEO did release an official statement about the passing of Tilikum. It says in part, Tillicum had and will continue to have a special place in the hearts of the SeaWorld family, as well as the millions of people all over the world that he inspired. My heart goes out to our team who cared for him like family. And of course, we plan to bring you plenty more coverage tonight here on News 6. But as you can imagine, uh, this story and his passing is getting a lot of attention both locally and worldwide.